guys welcome back to my channel my name is Brooke and today I decided to do a little bit of a one-year-old update since she is going to be one not this Saturday but next Saturday um, on March 28th so I thought it would be a good idea just to do whoa <laughs> just to do a little bit of a update for you guys say hello and like I said in all my previous videos, Addison loves the camera, so you probably are gonna see her reaching up for the camera a lot since wow, a lot since wow, since she does love it. Hello. <coughs> <laughs> but let's just go ahead and get right into the video. down for a little bit of a nap but I will go ahead and finish this video um, so like I was saying she was born March 28th at 6 32 p.m. I did go into labor um, for a few hours and I was only pushing for about an hour or so I did go more into detail about that in my labor and delivery video so I will go ahead and leave that linked in the description if you want to go ahead and hear more kind of about my delivery and how everything went but I guess I could just start off by saying how crazy it is time does fly by so fast I do try to live in the moment Addison is getting so big she is about probably about 22 pounds. She hasn't been to the doctor in about three months. The last time she was there, I think it was her 10 month old checkup. She does have a one year old checkup coming up soon in about three weeks, so I will see how much she weighs. But I do think it's about 22 pounds, somewhere around there, maybe a little bit more. She's getting a lot bigger. She's gonna be really tall. Um, I guess not really tall, but way taller than me. I'm about 5'2". Her dad is almost six foot, I would say. The doctor predicted, like, calculating both of our heights together that she'd be about 5'5". Five five. So like the perfect height, she's gonna be taller than me, so I guess that is a good thing since I am so short. But whenever they do say that time flies, believe me, it does. It's going by so quick. I can't believe I had Addison almost a year ago. It is crazy and Although Addison was unexpected and a big surprise to me and my whole family, I would never change anything that did happen. She is the biggest blessing and I'm so glad that she has came into my life, made me a better person, made me who I am today. So I'm so thankful for her and everything she's done for me. She's trying to walk. I know a lot of babies are walking. Some walk at eight months, some walk when they're over a year old. So it's a little bit different. Um, I know Kobe's dad was walking whenever he was eight months old and I know some don't walk until they're, you know, 12 13 months old a little bit older than that everybody's different anyways um she is trying to walk she has one of those wagon push things whatever they're called um and she does walk behind that and she does stand by herself which she just recently started doing like last week so i'm pretty sure she's going to be starting to walk any second as soon as she realizes that she can walk she's going to she stands up she just needs to take a step so she's good there um she does have two teeth on the top and then two teeth on the bottom and then another one coming in on the top so she does have her teeth coming in she has a lot of hair which i'm so surprised because i have like such like thin hair and I didn't think she was gonna have any hair at all when she was born. She actually ended up coming out with a full head of hair and she does have a lot of hair right now so I'm really excited about that. <laughs> well, someone doesn't want to take a nap so <laughs> you, be, you, you be good, okay? Anyway, she started crawling when she was about nine months old. She moves everywhere. One second she will be in the living room and then you turn her away and She's in her bedroom playing with toys. She loves to play with herself, so she does um, do a lot of self-interaction, which is really good. And she's over here playing with the camera. She just loves the camera so much, so if it keeps wobbling, I'm sorry. She's like holding on to it, so um, she really does love taking pictures. She is like my... Anyways, Addison loves taking pictures. She's like my little model. She is so photogenic in all the pictures I take of her. She loves to smile and laugh. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but she has like this bell sleeve shirt on and it's so cute because I have a bell sleeve shirt on. And I wasn't even planning on matching us, but it just kind of 
worked out this way so I thought it was so cute anyways her first birthday is coming up like I said in a couple of weeks but with all the coronavirus going on she most likely isn't going to be having a party we might do like a little smash cake at our house and take pictures and have like my mom and stuff come over but the place that we were having her party at they actually called me and canceled and said that they were closing their building down which I was planning on canceling her party anyway so it kind of worked out um, I did get like my refund back and all the deposit that we put down for all that so I'm really thankful that they did go ahead and give me my money back because I know some places haven't been it really sucks that her first birthday does kind of get ruined um, but we will be going ahead and having another birthday party for her maybe in the summer like I did say in all my other videos we are gonna be moving really soon we have been looking at a couple of different houses so if all this coronavirus stuff is gone within the next couple of weeks I will be going ahead and having her a birthday party hopefully maybe in our backyard at our new house so that'll save us a little bit of money instead of having it somewhere and then just having family and friends come over that'll be a lot better so hopefully that is like the plan right now since her birthday party is going to be postponed a little bit that's just kind of a little bit of an update of what's going to be going on other than that everything is going really good me and Addison have kind of just been staying at home because I don't want her to get sick Kobe does go to work and then he comes home and then we kind of just stay here and watch movies and things like that we haven't been really leaving the house because I definitely don't want to get sick or spread it to anybody else or have Addison be sick so we just kind of been staying at home and watching movies and spending a lot of quality family time together so it is really sad that this is going on but I guess it's a little bit of a learning experience and it just shows that life is so short so to don't take life for granted and just basically live your life to make sure that you have so much fun in life because you know you only regret the chances that you didn't take so like I did say I'm thankful that Addison is here and my family is together and we are really blessed so I'm thankful for that. Other than that, Addison is doing really good. She hasn't been sick at all really. I think she's been sick one time and it was for like two days and she had this an ear infection um, and that was when she was like, I think it was like seven months old, something like that. She hasn't been really sick, knock on wood. But that is all for this one year old update. I would like to do a bunch more of these videos, maybe when she's like a year and a half old and then two years old, kind of just showing a little bit of her milestones and what she has achieved and where she's at to kind of look back on. So I really like doing this video. I hope you guys like this video. And if you want to see more of these, just comment below and let me know. Also, what other types of videos you guys would like to see from me? Also comment that and I will go ahead and try and do those for you guys as as well but thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to subscribe also like this video and I will see you guys in the next one bye guys